I'm going to be showing you how to get all 10 mini kits in the Legacy of Terror level in LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for mini kit number one, we're going to make our way over here to the left side and use the dark side of the force on the wall here with a character like Savage or Press to reveal the correct, uh, you know, pattern for these stairs. So what you have to do is match the pattern with that picture on the wall exactly. So, you know, you want to put the green Lego piece in the bottom left, then the blue on the right, then the red on top of that, and then the yellow on top of that, just like so. Make sure it's lined up correctly. Then up above, you'll be able to grab mini kit number one. So there's going to be a silver Lego object for mini kit number two. Blow that up with the bazooka character. Then build this Geonosian skeleton, and that's going to be one out of five. We're going to find the rest throughout the level. So we'll come back to mini kit number two. Mini kit number three is going to be on the right side of this room. We're going to switch to a gunner character to destroy these gold Lego objects. And once you destroy those, it'll reveal a you know, wall jumping path for a Jedi character. And once we jump up here, we can switch to a blaster character, pull on the grapple hook, and from there it'll bring down this little rock, giving you mini kit number three. Now for mini kit number four, this is once you get inside the caves, we're going to turn on the glow in the dark extra to make things a little bit easier to see in here. There's going to be a rock wall, we're just going to blow that up with a bazooka character. And on the left side here, there's going to be a Geonosian like statue that just pops out of the wall. Destroy that, and that's going to be one out of five, so we need to find four more of those to destroy throughout the level. Uh, the next two are actually going to be right here next to this astromech droid panel. So we're going to knock out those, and that brings us up to three out of five. We're going to take a pause on that mini kit and now move on to mini kit number five. So hack open that astromech droid panel. It's going to gain you access to this room. We're going to switch to a grapple hook character to pull down these train tracks. Then on the left side, there's going to be some more train tracks that we can just build with any character. And then on the right side, there's going to be some train tracks that we just need to push forward with a, with I think any character will do. It'll just push them forward into the correct alignment. Once they're all aligned, you can pull on the lever and some of these uh, trains are going to stop, giving you mini kit number five. And now moving back to mini kit number two, there's going to be a silver Lego object in this room. Blow that up with the bazooka character. That'll allow you to build this Geonosian skeleton, and that's going to be number two out of five. Again, we'll come back to that one. Uh, moving on to mini kit number six. So we're going to play the level as we normally would in story mode. Uh, we're going to collect any blue studs that we can. We're going to pull on this wall with a grapple hook character on that grapple hook going to take down the whole wall and from here we need to switch to a gunner character and destroy these four gold lego objects that are on each side of the room uh, there's two on each side and once we gun down all of those it's going to give us a buildable like mech suit of some sort which is kind of interesting to see in a lego star wars game uh, but we're going to get in that and stand on this orange pad that's going to cause this right side wall to blow up getting getting you access to this secret room then we can switch to a high jumping character like jar jar binks to jump up into the light and grab mini kit number six. Also in this room is going to be a silver Lego object, which we can blow up with a bazooka character, giving you the next skeleton, Geonosian skeleton. That brings us up to three out of five for mini kit number two. Moving back to mini kit number four, this is the one with the Geonosian statues that come out of the wall. So we're playing the level as we normally would. Uh, getting into this next room, there is the next statue right there, four out of five. And then I realized, oh wait, we actually missed a statue. So if we go back a little bit, um, on the left side wall here is going to be where the last statue is. It pops out if you just walk to the left, kind of near where we stopped the mech suit. And that gives us mini kit number four. All right, so play the level as normal. You're going to get to this room. And if you move over here to the right side, there's going to be this spider web. And so what we need to do is blow up those silver Lego objects on the spider web with the bazooka character. Or you can use a bounty hunter's detonator. Either way, I think bazooka is a little bit easier. There's going to be some dark side of the force Lego objects that we need to pick up, pick up and put into the spider web. So we're going to switch to a character like Savage or Press, or Count Dooku, anybody like that, and keep using the dark side of the force until everything is planted. This spider creature is going to eat everything that you put in there and give you mini kit number seven. Now moving on to mini kit number eight. If you go to the far left side of this room, it's going to be an electrical panel. We can hack that with a character like Robo Nino or Magna Guard. And once you do that, it'll open up this secret room. Inside, there's going to be four crystals in the corners of the room. Use the force on all of those. It'll light up the room a little bit. And uh, especially if you don't have the glow in the dark extra on, which I'm using here. And once you do that, this little like birthday party will happen. And what you have to do is destroy the cake in the middle. And that'll give you mini kit number eight. And then going back to mini kit number two with those Geonosian bones. Uh, if you use the force on these bones, it'll build a Geonosian skeleton, and that'll be four out of five. And a little bit later on in the level, once you get to this boss fight against this giant slug creature, 
Uh, if you blow up the left side of the room with those silver Lego objects, there's going to be a wall jump area with a Jedi. And up here, if you use the force uh, again on these bones, it'll be the final Geonosian skeleton. That should bring you up to 5 out of 5, and then you can grab mini kit number 2. So after the boss fight, you're going to be running away towards the camera. Uh, so you have to be careful with this one. So mini kit number 9, you have to destroy 5 different of these like jars. So the first one's going to be on the right side, the second one's going to be on the left side. And you have to be fast because you are being chased during this section. Third one's going to be on the right side. And I think it just alternates right, left, right, left. There, the fourth one's on the left side. And then I think the last one's going to be on the right side as well. Yep, so it just alternates starting with the right side. That gives us minikit number nine. Then the final minikit is pretty hard to miss. Uh, at the end of this chase sequence, there's going to be a wall jump section that you have to do with a Jedi character. And just jump up and grab mini kit number 10 that's waiting for you. And that's going to be all 10 mini kits in the Legacy of Terror level here in LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.